Well, everyone, this is our master is back for a top tappy, yo. Wow, Mickey Dose list is really so high being proven that how I was mad or glad about an episode then. So it's time for me to redo my top 10 worst couple episodes for the last time. The more that I lost at death about certain episodes, the harder it is for me to pick 10 episodes to hate, and I can just turn it to a top 5 list, but I actually wanted to talk about some episodes in detail here. So, the first two episodes on this list will be says we, but will get worse as it continues. And since it has up, there are some episodes on this list that could be one of your favorites, so I am so sorry in advance. Anyways, let's get this list started. Number 10, the we bolt. Let's start with an episode that was says we for the most part, and that's because Dari wants to defend Anjas that is being mistreated. I will explain why, but most of them for this are probably so in the episode. Like maybe the set also thought that this part is stupid and useless. But what really made me put the report on this list is both the climax and the ending. So Dari's we have failed to convince the answers to be free, but Gunfo's full we draw away in front of that as he works. I know that the episode needs to be 11 minutes long, but to be honest, it should have been produced at all. I can't imagine a kid watching this episode. He would most likely not use any answer anymore because of it. At this point, it was like some nitpicky stuff about answers, but this is just the beginning. So, just don't think about the past to see too much, okay? Number 9, The Skull. Wait. I remember to put this episode on the list? Oh, now I see why. So, the school would have been somewhere else than number 9 if it was memorable. I think the main reason why is that the episode was such boring and quiz way to watch through. Like, Clayton's big life was predictable and we doesn't need to take up the whole episode. I would either rewind it so it could be better or more memorable, or since we place the whole episode in general because season 2 would be better without it. Even the CB sensor doesn't make it better either. Well, I guess it's time to forget this episode again and watch better Clayton episodes. But I need to continue this list, so let's move on. Number 8. The laziest. This episode happens to be what the majority of people would put on their worst couple list. And it deserves to be here as well. There are good reasons why season 1 doesn't get that much attention anymore. And the laziest is probably the main reason for it. It's so sad that it used to be the laziest man in ever. But later season, Cutter did that so much. Even without that... It still doesn't skew this episode. After Gump and Dar are losing the lazy off, they take a break so they can find someone that could be him. If Larry say that he doesn't want to do it, the don't toss it to the point that he becomes jealous, chorus, and wasn't his girlfriend. And even when Gump and Dar plan is a success, it goes to waste almost immediately. Do you know how much time that it took up? Well, it's about 4 minutes. That means that we should do that much time a toaster and because a big waste of time. Even for season 1, that is not a good way to fill the little minute mark. It seems like even the wires said that the lazy art would be finished quickly. In my opinion, I think the lazy art is a bit quizzy to watch anyways. At the end, it has to be one of the most stupidest ones that I ever watched. Nick the Pines is Kappa because he thought that they may wish to do chores. What? 
This thing forgot to see was the one that made him do it in the first place. This ending pool said this episode is bad for the star. But really, I won't fall an episode for the first season too much. So that's why it's not near the top 5 for me. I guess the wires were for the laziest because in the wild, they could only give Wizard one simple chore and see the puts the kids for it. So if you want to watch season 1, then stick this episode because you will get 80 weapons for it in later seasons. Number 7, The Egg. As if getting disappointed about this episode being delayed for another month isn't bad enough, here's an episode that is for a quiz and says Tarsa as it continues. I get why the Warriors are trying to be classical so that Billy could have played it with a naive, but really, it stressed the whole episode down to me. Like, me quizzing almost made me lose the scene that I last watched, and then the bad side if I can watch the episode correctly. At least the laziest has some music to keep me watching, even if I was angry. It also didn't help that the whole fight between Frizzy and Nico and the song also continued to me get lost. Is it safe that this was an IEC's second attempt at making friends? Because if the episode were last quiz way, then I would like it better. It's a good thing that the A is best paced, otherwise I would be quizzing and confused for a long time. Wow. Now people knew that I did quiz on YouTube with like 2018, but this specific up episode is Stan. I'm sorry that you had to put do this, Anais. I wish that I could rewrite this episode for you. Number 6. The Heist. This episode really disappointed me. Its plot was about how Wizard accidentally stole money from a bay, and now the viruses need to come up with a plan to take it back. That sounded like a cool episode, but what we got was a redo of the plan, which is one of the better season 2 episodes. In that episode, it makes sense the plan goes to waste because of a misunderstanding of a product brand, but here, it turned out the remaining time that it could have used for an actual backwards heist. A couple had no problem referencing games with heists, like DTA, so why did the wires go with that instead? Now, this is the only season 5 episode that I hate, because before it, Wizard got mistreated twice already. Both of them had him be literally fat for the sake of plot. And it was disgusting for me. This time, he accidentally caused a big worry because a motorcycle had to be stuck in his hand. It's just sad that Wizard has to be this late in the season. At least the next season did have him better off than this. And about the story money? Well, Dory returned it only to have blown up because of the police this day is a dangerous luggage. Wait, what's even the point of having the police involved if they were going to blow up the story money in the end? My gosh. Okay, let's move on before it gets worse. Number 5, The Great Beast. The episode was a disaster from the beginning because Gumpa and Tari were so bored to the point that they became Terry cases. This has to be one of the worst times that Gumpa and Tari were bored because the other ones had some sort of entertainment out of it. But here, it just doesn't work. Even Gumpa and Tari didn't want to be part of a Terry case. Says, let them out of it, people. But no, they still want to help them. To be honest, I would have switched the hopos at Gumba and Dari's place as well because they had interacted before and the latter did have experience of Terry before. That would have been a cool and better episode than the official one. It's just a big miss opportunity that the staff never did, so we are set with, with the great beast. Also, Gumbo sees that got greedy and wants to trust the house so that his family can have been checked. What happened to the get out of the charity case? Now, I can't trust anyone anymore. There is also a subplot about sarcasm, but that doesn't say this episode for this list. And besides, I may be immune to it like Wizard. And the message was that 
actually Double D Cut with a good affinity one. So there was no good messages in the end, which really would have been nice for an episode like this. The main reason why I put this episode after the heist is because I feel like this episode did a bad job picking someone for a charity case for the sense having a dumb way to have Wizard Wild Day for the same of plot. At least that has the characters be noble to be flatterized. Or in all, the great beast was just a big misunderstanding. Number 4. The Inquisition. As of this video, I still don't know if this episode is the series finale or not. And if it is, then I guess I have to put it onto this list regardless. Since I did talk about this episode in a review, I won't be talking about the episode in detail too much. Basically, this episode is me spirit even if it has a part visit at the end. If you want to know more, then you have to watch it in the description or in the car. You have noticed that I left out some important this stuff in that video, so I will talk about them now. First of all, Carter Never Dead Sounds released the episode already on their app, which caused major spoilers to sweat out in social media. This causes good fans of communities to plot any spoilers related to the season 6 finale for a month. And this also caused some people to attack the series creator because of its ending. If this doesn't show you that the Inquisitor has missed glasses, then nothing will. Also, Ben McClay said on Twitter that the episode ended isn't what he wanted, so I have no idea what happened behind the scenes for it. It could be that Cartoon already gave the staff a waiting minutes to end season 6, or maybe someone really wanted the show to end a movie, so they decided to pull a big stunt. And Cartoon never did say that the Inquisition was the series finale. At this point, I am so confused about Godfall's future. If this episode was the series finale, then it could be the first disappointing series finale that I ever saw. And it's an insane because Gumpa is a good cartoon network show and one of the better shows that was made in a different country. It's a bit interesting that some people like the Inquisition as a later episode but hate it as a series finale. But like I said earlier, I I don't like this episode as year one. If Cartoon Never does it now and continue to raise our sight for the rest of this year, then the end of the Inquisition and well season 6 would be a big letdown for me. Number 3, The Wills. Out of all the disappointing episodes for Gumball, this one has to be the worst for right now. Why? Well, this episode promised that the viruses are trying to have Dari connect with his fist wheels, and we so it by having him upset over the other fishes in the past stop. It could be the perfect chance to have the viruses trying to fight Dari with your family, or at least not about his special abilities. But what we got is is the viruses doing a horrible and quest where it died helping him. You can argue that the hero did worse, but at least that only took out about half the episode. This one took out seven minutes. Then about two more minutes of torture. And I thought that the laziest had the worst time of that. And you know who could have painted all this stuff in? Well, it's Doran. The fish that was getting tortured in the first place. All that he had to do was to call his family down and know what's going on, but he did it. Want to know why? Well, Dari was trying to emotionally manipulate his mom so he could get a better fist take. All of this time, we thought that Dari needed to connect with his fist wheels, and he says emotionally manipulate all of us just so he could get something he wanted. You know what? I think the wheels can actually while the hero and the girlfriend because this is South we said. And that's bad if it could be two of the most hated couple of episodes in the fandom. But I think the rest of the episode on this one would be better or in this case worse than this. Dory said never do this ever again. Wait, the main show had always been over. Well, that's a good lead then. Number two, the finale. 
to this day, I still can't forget that this episode nearly made me start watching God for all together. I will explain why, but I had talked about this episode so much that I made a playlist about the best reason me hating it. So I would recommend that you watch those videos if you really want to know. Besides that, I probably need to taste this episode's title because now it could be confused with the inconsistent. So here's the new day that I call it from now on. So you may have noticed that the not finale isn't number one anymore. Well, it's because of three days. One, I now went to begin it even if it got into one thing. Two, I would actually take this ending as the series finale than the Inquisitors because it makes sense that the soul would get resented to the very beginning even if I don't like that. And three, I found something that is worse than this episode, an episode that would be the most exciting to be all possible for me. But before we get to that, I will talk about two quick dishonorable messes. The banana. I was going to have this episode on this list as sold by the thumbnail, but when we watch it, it's just okay to the point that I think the repo was a very candid stand. So you're safe for now, me gunball. And the slip. I still don't so get how people can like this episode. I think that it's a disappointment and it's not even good. At this point, this part had a point of not letting Lister pick out his practice, but it gets a real quick. I really wish that the waters were as he cared for Lister again. Number one, the blame. I'm going to get anyone who likes this episode to quit up this video because if you don't, then I may actually wait it for you. Okay, I guess they're gone now. The Blade is the episode where I hate Felicity the most. Why? Well, she wants to ban being gays in Elmar after her son apparently got hurt for it. Like the finale, the Meyer character actually agreed with her argument out of nowhere. Why, if Aya was a Lizzy a human first, then is his mom also was a human? And the argument is pretty stupid and she will not be a problem anymore, but it still is. I tell you about being gays can make kids be violent. Well, I think the being gays had nothing to do with that. The episode did the cause this problem could be your personality and dynamics. A curse kids can imitate this that could be dangerous, but Bessie they will learn for it. To be honest, if Fortnite haven't been on the use because of this stupid reason, then I wouldn't have a good point of posting that. So that means that Felicity just doesn't care about anyone's personality or say and should play video games for it. It just doesn't work like that. And if you thought the episode would get better, then you're won. The students didn't even bar using ever Sweet and a sweet site that parries you to and the being gays got banned. And please said the Felicity did ban the internet as well. So what did the students do is stand? Well they tried to get bus back and stand. Even if your press is ceased, it still doesn't mean the being gays will get out banned. Then everyone says we can down for the sake of comedy because I don't find it funny at all. And the thumbnail of this episode's comment is that it had a very good lesson about censorship, but it got way for Felicity. If there's one character that fell to the boy that I won't miss the most, then she will be it. This episode actually made me so glad that this is Felicity's last major episode because I cannot say another one ever again. So, the real one who is to blame is the blame itself. You're the worst gunfight episode in my opinion ever. Now get out of here. So that was my top 10 worst Gumba episodes for a third time. Trust me, it's the last time that I will ever remake this. Anyways, what's your least favorite episode? Tell me in the comments. The next list will be the opposite and will about the best Gumba episodes. Anyways, I hope you had a good day and bye!